Hey there! Today we are going to talk about another nonfiction book, which is called The Psychopath Test by John Ronson. To be honest, at the beginning I was quite skeptical, thinking that I was holding in my hands something else cliched and standard written on the subject. Um, this information is really interesting, but so many authors researching it um, simply repeat each other as well as they repeat many things in general, and that is pretty annoying. However, this book really surprised me in a really pleasant way. At first, it misled me, um, making me believe that that would be the investigation and detective mystery of one strange book that has been sent out to some scientists and professors around the world. And some pages and fragments of descriptions in it were either accidentally or intentionally missing in different copies. But this book in general is an internal dialogue of the author with himself and with his readers. He will take us with him to meetings with psychiatrists and psychopaths themselves, who are both serving time in prisons and being treated in medical institutions, as well as occupying positions of leadership in the world of politics and business. A really interesting suggestion. Mm, superficial charm and lack of empathy, some of the traits characteristic of um, psychopathic personality are really common and useful in the world of politics and business. And um, some people use it in order to win people over or uh, for getting them fired easily or lure to their side. Sounds convincing and makes sense, doesn't it? John Ronson explores the medical interventions and treatment of adult and really young patients in the past and today. He also raises the question of humanity, ethics and appropriateness. It is really strange maybe, but this book is a lot of fun <laughs> and it's written in really easy, light and simple language, yet this language is really sophisticated. Just like that. And John Bronson is joking a lot about others and himself and life in general. And I believe the point is that John Bronson is a journalist and a really cool one. I also really like that the author questions everything and accepts nothing as the truth in the first place. He is against labeling people, but at the same time he encourages us not to ignore the red flags in the behavior and character of some personalities. There isn't any answer or conclusion, I believe, um, awaiting you in the finale, but at the same time there simply should not and cannot be any in this topic, I believe. <laughs> Um, I think this book will stay with me for a while and in my opinion this is the best compliment I can give a non-fiction book because as a rule that happens to me when I read a fiction book. <laughs> um, so I highly recommend it, 10 out of 10, food for thought, References to scholarly sources, black humor, irony, and self-irony. Sounds good. <laughs>
Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the comments. Bye.